Hey guys, this is David. Today we're going to show you how to test and replace the surface element on your Samsung range. If your range doesn't heat evenly, has an inner coil or outer coil that's not coming on, or it doesn't heat at all, then it might be time to test and replace the surface element. Before we dive in, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to our channel so you'll never miss our newest repair guides. With over 2 million products in stock and the know-how to help you do it yourself, we are AppliancePartsPros.com. First, we're going to get our tools together. We need a multimeter, a blanket or pad, a Phillips head screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, a Sharpie or pencil, and pliers. Also, please remember that safety comes first. Make sure to unplug your range or turn off the breaker to prevent any power from running to the appliance while you're working on it. Now, when a surface element fails, it usually won't come on at all. Or if it's a dual element, either the inner coil or outer coil may come on, but not both coils. You may have seen a flash of light and heard a pop when the element went out. And just a heads up, we're going to be testing with live voltage at some point. So I'll tell you when you can turn the power back on. Let's open the oven door and remove the four screws that hold the console in place. Now lift the bottom of the console out and remove it. After we do that, we can close the oven door and let it rest on the door. You'll need to put a towel or pad under it to protect it from getting scratched. Next, we need to find the left front switch and we're going to plug the range back in or turn the breaker on. Carefully turn the switch to the on position and then turn the inner coil on. Now let's test. Set your multimeter to AC voltage and put one probe on the H2 terminal and the other probe on the H1 terminal. You should get a reading of 240 volts AC. Now turn the switch to the other position, which is going to turn the entire element on. When you touch one meter probe to the H2 terminal and the other probe to the P terminal, you should get 240 volts AC. If these readings are good, but the element doesn't turn on, then apart from broken or burned wires, the element is defective. If you found out that your surface element is faulty, let's replace it together. Before we start moving or taking anything apart, we need to make sure the range is unplugged or the breaker is turned off. We also need to remove the three screws that hold the metal strip on. Then pull it out and remove the Phillips head screws from the back panel. At the top of each corner is a screw that holds the cooktop on and we need to take out both screws. At each corner, just like in the back, there are two screws that hold the top in place and we need to remove both of them. Then we can unplug the two wire connectors and lift the top off and lay it flat with the glass part down on a moving blanket or a couple of towels. There are also two screws on each side that need to be removed along with a couple in the front. Let's remove the ground screws and lift the pan off. As you push the wire connectors down through the holes, you should be able to lift the pan off the elements. You should be looking at the back side of the elements now. We need to find the element we need to replace. If you notice, there are markings on the mounting bar so we can make a mark by the two tabs that come through the mount which is where the new elements need to be mounted to. Now we can remove the four screws that hold the mount and slip the old element out. We're going to take pictures of the wires and where they go before we remove them, just to make the installation process easier. Then we can remove the clips that hold the element to the mount. Here's the old surface element and here's the new one. If you've already got one, great. If not, you can pick one up at AppliancePartsPros.com. Pay attention to the number they go to and make sure you install the clips in the same position as the old element. 
If the terminals on your new element are in the same position, change out the wires one at a time or refer back to the picture you took so you can hook it up correctly. Once that's done, we can mount the element to the mounting bracket so that the clips go into the marked slots. Then secure the mounting bracket with the four screws. Let's put the pan back on, feed the wire connectors through the holes and install the four screws. Now install the ground screws and we're ready to put the cooktop back on the range. After getting the cooktop back into position, install the four screws at each corner. Then plug the two connectors back in. We're also going to put the console back into position and install the four screws. We're almost done. Let's go to the back of the range, then put the back panel on and put the trim piece back into position with the three screws. Now you can plug the range back in or turn the breaker on and test to make sure it's working again. You made it. Great job. If you found out that you need a new surface element, just grab your range's model number and visit appliancepartspros.com to order a replacement. Most orders will be at your door in just one or two days. And we'll still be here in case you need a refresher to install your new part. Also, take a second to drop a comment about how the process went. We'd love to hear about it, and we've got you covered if you have any questions along the way. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.